Hello students, welcome to Shreen Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about visualizing solid shapes, which is the 15th chapter and the last chapter in the seventh class CBSA Max. Hope you have uh, you you will understood well. So I am Karthik. We are creating videos on all chapters on all subjects from class one to class twelve. So please do subscribe our channel. Also like our videos, share our videos. So don't forget to. subscribers and also press the bell icon so that you will get the immediate updates from us so in addition to the tuition uh, class students were also providing the tuitions please make use of it okay now we will start the discussing regarding the visualizing solid shapes 7th class cbse 15th chapter okay we will start it so coming to the chapter visualizing visualizing solid shapes so the plan of the chapter is we will see the overview next we will discuss detail and after that we will see the examples visualizing solid shapes introduction that is about the plane figures and the solid figures and after completing about the introduction faces edges and vertices and after the uh, discussing about that nets for building 3d shapes nets for building 3d shapes and after completing that we are going to discuss drawing solids on a flat surface okay students oblique sketches how to construct the oblique sketches and isometric sheet what is isometric sheet and there is example to problem we will discuss about the solution and visualizing solid objects how we can visualize them and view viewing different sections of a solid okay one way to view an object is by cutting or slicing so it is bread if you slice came slice 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 kitchen play okay another way is by shadow play okay so shadow play is another game so many games you are going to see here friends okay and after that a third way is by looking it from certain angles so if you see here this monkey is entering into the house front house it is one angle one view, viewing angle and it is side view it is entering from the side and it is the top view it is from the top of the so these are the three views okay so like that happens friends and that is the end of this chapter hope you will really enjoy this session friends so without wasting time we are going to start this session so visualizing solid shapes so now we will discuss the first part first thing so plane figures plane figures versus solid shapes plane figures versus solid shapes okay plane figures solid shapes suppose if you think it what it is ball it is in spherical shape suppose if you draw a circle on a paper it is plane figure it is solid shape so we will discuss about them clearly so here we will use term called as dimension dimension so we will differentiate the plane figures and the solid figures sorry plane figures and the solid shapes by the term called as dimension so in our everyday life the objects which we will see are the solid shapes okay suppose if you look at about the books if you look at about the balls like this and ice creams cones all if you look at the phone it is solid it is It is three dimensional. It is three dimensional. It is three dimensional. 
everything is three dimensional everything is three dimensional students almost everything what we are looking in your set suppose uh, if you are in your uh, room in your house look at the top there is a ceiling fan it is a three dimensional thing look at your bed look at your chair look at your car look at your have uh, utensils or the tv or the music room or the books pens pencils bag boxes all are three dimensional okay all are three dimensional so that is the beauty of this three dimensionals we have to learn so all the around us are three dimensional students okay so what is the common thing regarding all three dimensional objects like these and like these what is the common common thing students so the common thing is what so all are having some length some breadth and some height or depth so every solid shape or every three dimensional three dimensional or the real real world objects every three dimensional the real world objects are having length and breadth all are having some length some breadth or some height or depth height or depth so these if you have in here we are having three measures that's why it is three dimensional it is three dimensional stress okay and all these objects will occupy some space will occupy some space if you want to know more about it so take a beaker or some bucket fill it with completely with the water and now place some three dimensional object like this place some ball on this fully uh, on this beaker fill it with water so if you place it what happens some uh, some water comes out of it why water is coming out of it why means so whenever you are filling that beaker we have completely filled it so there is no space for anything so that space of that container is fully occupied by the water you have completely occupied it there is no space but when you are putting this ball into that beaker so some it is having it is occupying some space inside the beaker but there is no space no that's why some water is going out so that some space will be created and in that space this ball can exist so which means this ball is occupying some space if the ball is not occupying some space then the water will not come out of it water will not come out of it so that is the famous example you can do to know that the solid objects or any solid object placed in, in the water that water is fully covered with the container then then what happens you can know that the three dimensional objects that real life objects will occupy some space these are having three dimensional so length breadth and height shifts okay that's why these are called as the three dimensional shapes three dimensional shapes so some of the three dimensional shapes that is the solid shapes has given here if you see cuboid i will show you the example of cuboid so it is the cuboid of course it is can be extended okay it is making some oscillations so it is a cuboid and it is this is a, it is a cuboid sorry it is not a cuboid it is a cylinder it is a cylinder and it is a balls if you see here so there is the option of sphere so you have to match this diagram and there is a cylinder you have to match this cylinder and this cuboid is this is the cuboid so this is the cuboid shape this is a cuboid shape and this is what it is the pyramid pyramid and it is the cone i will show you the cone i want to make you to make you some cone so that you may this fits how many of you how many of you know how to make a cone using a paper friends how many of you know 
sometimes we will make playing games with the paper not print so how we can make a cone so like this you can make friends fix some point here and press it here rotate it like this okay if you see it is a cone it is a cone shape it is a cone you can see it is a cone it is the cone shape and this is the cube cube option is where here it is the cube so these are the three dimensional objects all these are the three dimensional objects all these are the three dimensional objects so i want to show you these things so now we are having some two dimensional objects here okay so some figures we can draw using a pen or pap pen or pencil on a paper so these are having only length so coming to the two dimensional objects simply write as two are two dimensional so these will have only length and breadth they will not have the height or depth so these are the two dimensionals and we can draw them on paper okay these are called as the plane figures two dimensional plane figures having the length and the breadth okay students and some of the two dimensional objects are if you see here it is a circle match it here and if you see here it is a it is what friends it is a rectangle coming to this next thing is what next thing is what it is the uh, triangle and coming to this it is a square coming to this it is a quadrilateral so square they have all sides equal triangle have three sides sorry square is circle not square circle so these can be drawn on paper and these are the two dimensional figures so two dimensional figures are simply write as 2d 2 dash d and 3d three dimensional figures can be read as 3d this can be 2d plane figures that's happening so next faces edges and vertices so what are the faces and what are the edges and what are the vertices where i have to see them so uh solid shape if you take any solid shape suppose it is having a cube so it, it having eight vertices friends. so this point this corner we call as the vertex this corner we call as the vertex is it able to draw so i will draw here So it is the cube and so this is the vertex 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 and this is the vertex. these corners of a cube are called as the vertices friends. what are those vertices Sing if you take only single then it is vertex if you talk about all then they are vertices okay so these corner points these corners where two or three lines meets two or three line segments meets the junction is called as vertex coming to edge coming to edge what is edge again i will draw I want to explain you clearly that's why I'm drawing each and everything so if you see here in this diagram what is the edge so if you see here this line segment and this line segment edge so these line segments these boundaries are the edges friends all are edges so 
so these are the edges if you name single thing it is the edge the line segment the line segment which is joining the two vertices it is the edge okay students it is the edge it is the vertex in between two vertices there is a line segment and it is the edge coming to the face coming to the face again i will try face so coming to the face what is the face so this is the face this is the side face once okay this is the face so cube is having almost uh, six faces six faces so suppose if you take it is also it is in the shape of cuboid so if you see here it is a face it is one face and it is another face and it is another face suppose if it is having uh, if it is having more thickness it is another face it is having another face it is having another face it is also having another place if it is having some more space so it is the face so almost how many faces i have told you faces are six how many edges one two three four in the top there are four and the bottom also there are four and they are connecting four total 12 edges and how many uh vertices one two three four top five six seven eight bottom so eight vertices so for a cube there are eight vertices and 12 edges and six faces okay so for solid objects there are vertices there are edges there are faces okay students so if you see here if you see this this line is the edge this line is also edge and this point and this point are the vertices and this is one of the face it is having five faces one face is to the down and the remaining four faces are to the four di di directions it is also having faces here one more face extra is there we have to write this thing straight okay so if you see cylindrical it is having two faces circular faces pyramid it is triangular faces so pyramid is having the triangles as its faces and the cylinder is having the circles as its faces okay students so the triangle is a plane figure and the circle is a plane figure but the cylinder is a three dimensional figure so if you see the three dimensional objects are obtained from two dimensional figures suppose if you take example here also suppose if you take here uh, suppose if you take this example so there is a square and in the bottom there is a pyramid square and pyramid okay students so what is the each face of the square each face of this square is a square each face of this cube is a square each face of this cube is a square friends and each face of this pyramid is a triangle and if you see here also it is there is small triangle one face and it is triangle and here it is uh, it does uh, it is not perfect square it is has somewhat taken and it is pentagon it is two dimensional figure so like that what is happening is that students so that the three dimensional objects are having two dimensional figures that is faces as the boundaries the best example are the cylinder or the pyramid or the cube or the cuboid or anything so three dimensional objects can be draw on two dimensional figures and suppose if you take one more example students tell me anything suppose if you talk about cuboid cuboid so it is cuboid it is having six faces and each face is a some square or rectangle it is rectangle so rectangle is a two dimensional figure square is a two dimensional figure 
but only it is a three dimensional object so three dimensional object is formed by two dimensional figures so that is the beauty so can we draw a three dimensional using two dimensions so we will discuss about building the three dimensional shapes using the two dimensions so now we discuss the third topic students the third topic is nets for building 3d shapes building 3d shapes okay students okay we will discuss it clearly now suppose take a cardboard shape friends okay and cut along this edges suppose if you have anything so cut along that edges and make it as as flat as like this so now we have a net for that box okay so net means what it is nothing but a skeleton outline so uh, i want to tell you so recently uh, toothpaste covers toothpaste covers are having this type of nets friends if you see if you open the toothpaste covers uh, they are giving some maps on it some uh, puzzles on it so if it is really the toothpaste then it is a three dimensional shape if you open it then it will becomes two dimensional figure okay then that is the net for the three dimensional shape friends so if you have match box then open it along its edges like this so basically match box is like this and if you open it like this then you will get this this is called as the net skeleton and when you fold again you will get this original three dimensional object okay so this is the type of net out skeleton so if you add them you will get three dimensional shape if you you remove them you will get the flat surface okay friends and that is the case so finally the three dimensional object can be converted into a two dimensional figure by uh, this net skeleton by opening it along its edges suppose if you have the cone so i will show you okay friends previously also i have to you the cone no so it is the two dimensional figure i have to cut it but i am using it right now it is a two dimensional figure okay I will make you something special. Okay, friends. How is it, students? So it is the three-dimensional cone. You see, it is the three-dimensional. It is cone. It is the cone shape. But it is a net for it. Plain figure. So I have to cut some uh, some places, students. Then it will looks like this. Okay. So that is the magic behind the three dimension, and it is the skeleton, it is the net for the three dimensional shape. So for the cube, for the, in order for the cube. So this is the net. This is the skeleton outline. So this is one of the face, and this is another face, and this is the another face, and this is the another face. So all these are the surrounding faces. and it is the top face and it is the bottom face it is the bottom thing and it is the top face bottom it is the top face for the cube and it is for cylinder so it is the top circular face it is the bottom circular face if you see students so this circle is this top circular face and this circle is the bottom circular face and this uh, curved surface is there no so it is the just rectangular shape rotated so it is the rectangular shape if i fold it so then it will become cylinder no it is the rectangular plane figure but i fold it will gives you the what does it gives you the curved surface for cylinder and above circle below circle are the two circles for cylinder surface and for a cone it is the shape cone we can be made see cone like this and so the pyramids suppose if you are having the pyramids like this these are the pyramids which you that the great pyramid in gaza is in egypt that is in gaza okay students so what is the outline for the pyramid so it is the outline it is the net skeleton 
okay students if you see the base is the rectangle and uh, there are four faces so triangular faces one two three four that is for the pyramid so this is the net diagram for the three dimensional object so do this exercise by your own if you got any doubts please let me know in the comment section so next topic is about drawing solids on flat surface so how to draw the solids on flat surfaces that is drawing solids on flat surfaces okay so uh, if our, if we have to do this task of okay, students drawing solids on flat surfaces okay if you want to do this task uh, how we can do this how we can do this so there are some techniques the first thing is oblique sketches oblique sketches by using this method we can construct the three dimensional shapes three dimensional shapes using the flat surfaces flat surfaces so so here is the picture of the cube if you have seen this picture is the cube so of course it is a cube it is a three dimensional object we can see it but actually what happening here but it is draw we have drawn it on a flat surface it has been drawn on a flat surface so by this we can construct a cube on a flat surfaces and it is the seen from the front face if you look at this from the front face it looks like this okay so how we can draw it and uh, one more thing is if you see in a cube all side lengths are equal all edges length are equal but in this figure so in the real cube all edge lengths are equal but in this cube the edge lengths are not equal there is a difference so how to draw a this is the oblique sketch for that what we require is some uh, rect uh, some square sheet the sheet must be like that some square sheet you have to get okay students like this square sheet you need so in this square sheet uh, we have to draw a sketch of 3 by 3 by 3 cube so whose length is 3 whose length is 3 whose breadth is 3 and whose height is also 3 length 3 breadth 3 and height is also 3 so how we can construct it how we can construct it so from this dry line dry a square first thing you have to dry a square whose side length is 3 units so we have constructed this square and now draw another square like this so leaving if you draw on here you have to draw next thing here leaving one box and next step is you have to connect these two lines then you will get this type of oblique sketch that is the cube it is the three dimensional it is from the front view okay students and now you have to connect the other edges with the dotted lines so first do this on the squared paper square lines paper next do it on a plain white figure like that just i will draw so it is a square next it is another square you have to construct these two squares and you have to join these edges the process is so simple like this we can draw stripes okay the this side edges and this side are equal but this side length is not that much equal so this side length is varies varies but in your real all are same so this is the process of constructing the oblique sketch and if you observe that in this oblique sketch the size of front faces and the opposite faces are equal this size means this front face and back face size is same but if you look at the edge sides 
is not same like just which are equal in q normally okay students like that so next is isometric sketches so in the previous case oblique sketches we have constructed it on a square grid paper now it is the term for isometric sketches isometric sketches where we can draw this isometric dot sheet so for this we need the isometric dot sheet so the dots are like this and these dots are uh, when you join these dots you will get the equilateral triangle equilateral triangle equilateral triangle if you join this okay students so like that uh, isometric sheet we have to take and using it we have to construct them three-dimensional sketches so here our aim is to construct the cuboid not particular the cube but cuboid okay students how to construct the cuboid how to do this task so we are planning to do construct a cuboid of length 4 into 3 into 3 4 into 3 into 3 okay students so this is the case happening here 4 into 3 into 3 this type of cuboid we have to construct how we can do it so first thing is dry a rectangle simply a rectangle using the lens a length as 4 units and breadth as 4 u 3 units simply a rectangle like this and next this rectangle is having four corners so it is a rectangle and it is having four corners i'll show you the corners first so it is one of the corner it is another corner it is another corner it is another corner so from these corners draw lines draw lines so uh, you have to draw lines by connecting the dots how many dots you have to connect our depth or height is how much dimension is three units uh, dimensional so we have to connect three dots one two three one two three so after completing that next we have to join these to these corners we are having corners here no so we have to draw lines from this corner to this corner like this so that finally our cuboid is constructed like this so this is the isometric sketch of the cuboid students like that we have to do the task how is it students so easy so it is an oblique sketch of a cuboid so there is a cuboid and it is the oblique sketch and drawing an isometric sketch that matches the drawing we have to draw isometric sketch for that what we have to do is first thing is in the isometric sketch we have to construct one rectangle can take this length you have to take this length and breadth and finally you have to construct some rectangle whose length is l breadth is 3 then you have to from these corners you have to draw 3 centimeters width then you have to connect them you will get like this that's the process you have to do students do this exercise on your own next visualizing solid objects okay visualizing solid objects so here is another topic visualizing solid it is a subtopic students okay so if you see this figure you can look into some extent if you look into this figure you will look at some sides some edges some faces not all are visible not all side all shapes you can see so can you guess how many cubes are there can you guess students how many cubes are there here so try to do some activities so you are looking this cube from this side this shape how many cubes you are having how many cubes here you are having how many cubes here you are having ask your friends to answer these questions play games with this you see here we are having four here we are having five here we are having how many students how many so three plus three six 
so that is the beauty of this subject next if two cubes of a dimension there are two cubes okay one cube and another one cube another cube two cubes of dimensions are what two by two by two two by two by two so its length is two breadth is two height is two its length is two breadth is two height is two now these two cubes are placed side by side so we have placed these two cubes side by side then what is the dimensions so if you look at if you add these you will get combined cube like this if it is the life you talk about the length here you are having two centimeters here also you are having two centimeters so total length is how much two plus two so four centimeters coming to the breadth if you see it is having two centimeters there is no extra cube so this two itself coming to height there is only one thing no the height is two itself so the dimensions are four by two by two that's it next topic viewing different sections of a solid so here solid we can see the different sections of solid one way to view an object is by cutting or slicing cutting or slicing so here is the game for of slicing here slicing here okay so if you see it is there is a loaf of bread it is in a cuboid shape you know and it is having square faces suppose if you take a knife and start making slices i think you will get play the games of slicing games in your mobile friends i know about it okay students so if you give a vertical cut you will get several pieces vertical cuts like this okay and each face is a square and we call this as the cross section so each each bread piece is called as the um, cross section area of cross section cross section of the whole bread so the cross section is almost nearly the square what it is it is square so suppose if your cut is not vertical then you will get different cross sectional area next kitchen plate so sometimes while doing the curries while doing preparing the uh, food have you seen some of the vegetables how you will slice them various slices try to understand or find out the cross section areas of all these sizes and so these type of solids you can make using clay or plasticine try to do them and try to give a horizontal and vertical cross sections cuts then what is the cross section how it changes name them measure them play with them so another way of expressing is by the it is the shadow play it's shadow play game so shadows are the good ways to any represent any three dimensional objects so if you have a three dimensional object and if you have a torch if you uh, place the torch on it you will get some two dimensional plane figures shadows that are nothing but shadows okay students so if you having a cone object take a torch light and splash on it and on the back side put some blackboard like this a black cardboard then what you will observe is you will get some image that is the shadow so it is a plane figure but it is the three dimensional figure and if you have ha your hand and if you place in front of the light you will again get shadow okay students and if you in the morning if you place any cup outside you will get shadow here and in the evening the shadow is in opposite direction so shadow will change its direction why right? because means as the source of light is changing so that is the shadow game students so for no need to like that evening is like that so shadows are the good ways to express the three dimensional figures into two dimension three dimensional shapes into two dimensional figures so a third way of looking is that students from different angles you will get different views suppose there is a monkey it is entering into the house from the front side from the front door so in the monkey's eyes the shape of this three dimensional uh, house is like that and it's uh, 
टू डायमेंशनल फिगर इज हाउ द टू डायमेंशनल फिगर इज इज लाइक दैट इट इज द टू डायमेंशनल फिगर सिंपली एंड इफ इट एंटरिंग फ्रॉम साइड व्यू द शेप इज सिंपली so if it is entering from side view it is like that two dimensional figure suppose it is from top view it can see like like this it can see it is from top view so different views different situations and different views you are getting friends okay so that is the case happening here so finally our chapter is completed friends chapter completed hope you have understood it friends so now we will see the summary of this session so what are the concepts we have discussed just we will see the summary summary visualizing solid shapes it is the present chapter which we are going to discuss now we have completed our discussion we will see the summary of this session so first thing is plane figures and the solid shapes so solid shapes are the three dimensional they are having length breadth and height plane figures are two dimensional they are having length and breadth itself okay they can be drawn in a any plane any paper we short name is 2d and 3d and coming to the faces edges vertices so for three dimensional objects the corners are the vertices and the uh, surrounding uh, it, uh, so, so if you take a any tube it is having the faces six faces side on surfaces and edges are the line segments joining the corners and next for building 3d shapes if you are having 3d shapes then if you open them you get a flat surface then that is the nets for cylinder for cone for square for pyramid we have discussed and for uh, drawing solid on flat surface so if you um, they on a flat surface we are drawing the solid shapes one of these the oblique sketch method another is the isometric sketch method we have discussed and after that visualizing solid objects how we can visualize them and uh, there is a uh, on by um, on the way to cut them you can visualize them in a two dimensional plane and in the shadow is another way to look them in a two dimensional way and next thing is the uh, viewing angles is the another way to look them in the uh, two dimensional shapes that's it friends chapter is completed summary is also completed hope you have understood well don't forget to subscribe us have a nice day all the best for your future exams bye bye